Hey guys, it's Bita. Welcome to my food channel. And today we're going to be making calzones and uh, they're perfect for a weeknight meal. We love them just any night of the week. They're really easy to make. You don't need, for my recipe, you don't need um, to make your dough from scratch. Just get some store-bought uh, thin crust pizza dough and you'll be set. It's not an authentic Italian calzone. Um, you're not gonna find that here today. It's just gonna be my take on a calzone and what we like to eat at home. And I feel like you guys are gonna like it too. It's ground beef and um, extra sharp cheddar cheese and a flaky crusty dough and some other good stuff. So what's not to like? So let's get started with going into the calzone. So we're gonna start off with um, some lean ground beef, salt, black pepper, paprika, garlic powder, turmeric powder, uh, white or yellow onion pureed or, or um, grated on a box grater, um, two serrano peppers here, you can use Thai chili peppers too, tomato paste, olives, black olives sliced, um, like I said, store-bought pizza crust, and um, extra sharp cheddar cheese. The extra sharp is really good. So um, feel free to, to improvise too, but this is a really good combo and we like it like this, so this is what we stick with. Um, so we're gonna make a large calzone today, and then you'll divide it up um, and have it however, you know, you can save my husband and I have a piece each and we like divide it into thirds and then leave a piece for lunch the next day it's great reheated um, just make sure you reheat it in a toaster oven or an oven as opposed to a microwave because um, even though I knew that it was a bad idea to heat reheat a calzone in the microwave I did it anyway and I got a rock in the end to eat for lunch and that wasn't fun so um, so we're gonna take the ground beef and we're gonna add the onion to it just right on top you can do this in a bowl or whatever but it's already in the pan so you want to mix it up before you heat it up unless you're really quick um, and then <clears throat> like I said salt This is a new salt shaker, as you can see, so it's taking a little extra effort. Okay. It might have looked like a lot of salt, but it wasn't. Um, but don't be shy with the salt. Usually people are really shy with salt, and it actually gets on my nerves a little bit. But do what you want. I'm a proponent. Black pepper. Plus, it's a lot of beef, so... You might think you're over seasoning it, but you're not. Uh, paprika. Uh, I eyeball it. You should eyeball it too. But just do what you like. But on my blog, this is garlic powder. On my blog, you'll be able to find the full recipe, honestandtasty.com. Just search calzone, it's in the recipe index. Turmeric, essential, essential for for um, ground beef in my handbook. I think it's a Persian thing, but oh, I can't go without it. Okay, so that's just gonna get mashed together. Use your hands if you're brave, or if you don't wanna get your hands dirty like me right now, because I wash my hands already a million times a day and they're basically really, <laughs> really hard, it feels, you know what I mean. Anyway, um, like rough. And so just mix it up and then put it in the, on the stove on high heat. So now that I've broken up the beef in little tiny pieces and mixed everything together, it's evaporated any of the liquid that was in the beef is evaporated and we're left with a little bit of that fat from the beef even though it's lean ground beef it still will have a little bit of fat and we're allowing the beef to sort of brown and saute in its own natural fat and it'll give it a little flavor 
and then we're going to assemble the calzone. So. Okay, so I just went in and put like, a, a, actually a whole can of, you know the little small cans of tomato paste, they're like 65 cents each. Just put a whole one on here and put it on half of the um, dough, which is on a cookie sheet that was just greased a little bit with some cooking spray that I had. All right, so let's add the beef. Like I said, well, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add about half of it because half of this, I made a lot of beef. So half of it is gonna be reserved for later. I think that looks good. Maybe a little more. Maybe a little more because beef is good. Now add a little chili pepper. A little spice, a little kick of heat. If you don't like it, don't add it. Do whatever you want. Um, but I like it. And stupid grocery store didn't have Thai chili peppers for me, so I'm left with Serrano's. But I'm not really complaining because these are really tasty too. Um, I don't like habaneros. I don't like the flavor that habaneros have. Because it's not just the heat that you're looking for, right? It's the flavor too. Um, and the habanero just Okay, now we're gonna add the olives. Sliced black olives. Um, a handful or so. Whatever looks right to you. You can always go on my blog if you don't know what looks right to you. See what looks right to me. And follow that. But to be honest, I always eyeball things. That's good. Whenever I say that's good, it's always a little more that I add to, so that's good. A little more. Okay. Now cheese. Extra sharp cheddar cheese. My favorite for this. You want to add it last because then it gets all gooey and goes right over all of the food when you bite into it or when you cut into it. So it just sort of coats everything the way it should. So let's just fold it like so. Easy peasy. Anyone can do it. And just meet the edges. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, then make some slits at the top just so the air can get through. Ta-da! Put it in the oven. 400 degrees, preheated oven, and it'll take 20 minutes. I'm gonna bring it out, show you what we have. Okay, see you in a bit. All right, so here we go, mama. Lovely, let's give it a taste, shall we? Okay, you see that? I don't know if you can even see that. Awesome, cheesy goodness. Okay, let's take a taste. Crunchy, delicious. Mm-hmm. Okay, end the video. Cause we gotta eat, this is too good. I can't even function anymore. You can find the recipes. Um, from my videos on honestandtasty.com. Um, I love it so much and I hope you guys love it too. It's really an awesome weeknight meal, week, weeknight meal or maybe a date night meal at home. Um, either way, I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, see you guys, bye. That's what I like. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry.